Hey there, Alan Matthews here. In this video, we are talking about solving problems, fixing the tricky spots in your piece. You get a piece up to 90% and this is about that top 10%. It's about smoothing over things, polishing things, working through the rough spots so that you have this beautiful crown jewel by the end. Before we get into it, please go over to classicalguitarshed.com. If you're not watching this on Classical Guitar Shed, which if you are, great, thank you. And if you're not, head on over, you'll find all sorts of classical guitar resources for you. All right, let's solve some problems here. So if we have a particular piece and we've gone through and we know where the spot is, right? We know that there is a tricky spot somewhere in this area. We can actually even maybe even locate it down to where we know what note is leading to the next note that makes it into a tricky spot that we're having a problem with. What we're going to talk about in this video are two things. One, uh, choreography, so what exactly is happening, and number two, talking it out. And so these are two incredibly powerful ways of going to solve problems because it really clarifies exactly what has to happen in your hands for this to go smoothly. So first things first, slow down. You can't play through this fast. Play with the music in front of you, even if you have it memorized, just pull out your music and go back to it. So let's say I've got this tricky spot in a piece. goes on from here, right? Um, there are a few different issues in here, and so how do I go about fixing those? Well, the first is I notice what the choreography is. So that means, and I'm going to talk it out because I'm telling you, but you can actually do this as well. So these two go hand in hand, choreography and talking it out. So specifically using your words and using your mouth out loud, not just in your head because you'll just, you'll gloss over certain things that are important, especially the, the important things that you're not actually realizing then you can say, okay, I'm starting with my pinky down, fourth finger. And so then I have a, I have to hammer on here. I play the pinky and I hammer on. And then I do another hammer on. And then, and then there's this open string here, which I have to make a tunnel for. And because of that, I have to get over the top and make this really nice tunnel. Well, for a while, I wasn't really realizing that. And so it would be, and there'd be this spot, right? And so it's like, why isn't this all clean? And it wasn't until slowing down and saying each step of the way, what has to happen? Make a nice tunnel because I have an open string. Hammer on, open string, make a nice, get out of the way for that one. Get over with the pinky and do a pull off. So I can talk out each of those little things. Now, you can also do this for bigger parts of your music. For instance, I've got this first part, which I need to kind of keep my elbow down a little bit because my hand needs to be in this position instead of this position, right? So this is something to think about. This is a choreography issue on a larger scale. My elbow needs to be down. I need to have my pinky higher than my index finger for all this stuff, for all of this, for this area. And then I need to rotate around and put on a bar. And then, there's a big movement of choreography. I need to go down and be ready for the second finger to go onto the second fret. So now I'm actually talking about where am I moving in space? What exactly has to happen? If I was going to program a robot to play this, what would I actually input? Play the fourth finger here. Then play this with this hand. It needs to be the M finger, then a hammer on. Then I'm just going to get really granular with exactly each move and be able to say it out loud. Of course, it's totally boring to hear it, me talking about it, but for your piece, then this is exactly what it should sound like. Anybody else listening to it would just, you know, say, bore me with the details. But for you to be doing this, then you can actually identify exactly what needs to happen for each movement. Really place. I need to place, you can also notice those kind of things, I need to place really well on that uh, hammer-on with my fourth finger, two strings over, three strings over from where I was playing before. When I come down, I need to be, my elbow needs to rise. I need to be at this particular angle so that I can, it's not this chord in the piece, but so that you can do this other move. Or whenever I shift, I need to make sure that I'm leading with the thumb. Um, 
or any number of things, but you can just talk out what exactly needs to happen. And if you don't know exactly what needs to happen, then you can just, um, especially with shifts, then you can say, okay, well, in this new position, what would the ideal position be? So, um, like to play that, what would be the ideal hand position? And then for your shift down there, then you have to set that up. And so once you start looking at it at this level, really under the microscope, move by move, moment by moment, one note connecting to the next note, connecting to the next note, and be able to talk it out with your tongue and with your voice out loud, then this will solve a lot of problems because chances are there's something that you're just missing in there. And by going through this process, then you will get that, what you are missing. And you might just notice, oh, I'm dragging my thumb when I shift up. Oh, whenever I jump down, I'm lurching and I'm not actually doing, I could just go a minute early because I've got an open string or whatever it is. You could find some solution within that just by going through the analyzation process and being able to talk it out. So that is choreography and talking it out with your mouth, with your voice. Hope that helps. Please subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the future. Hey, would you like to play more cleanly with more speed and precision with more beautiful phrasing and know that you're actually coming forward and progressing in a logical way on your guitar? Well, if so, you might want to check out The Woodshed. The Woodshed is a full practice solution. You'll find a massive library of play along practice videos. You get a clear step-by-step -step progression there's a massive practice library there with videos that you actually play along with. So practice along videos, training your different areas of your technique so that you know that that's solid. You get all the courses on Classical Guitar Shed, free webcam check-ins and video reviews so that you always know that you're on track with personalized one-on-one -on -one feedback. And most of all, you get the peace of mind knowing that you are on a specific track that leads from here to there. If this sounds interesting to you, then you can find more information following the link in the description, or you can go to classicalguitarshed.com, click on the membership button right in the center of the menu, and you'll learn all about it. Take care.